Hello everyone, welcome to this short lecture on the system design consideration for envelope tracking systems. Uh, if you want more information uh, about this tutorial and similar, please visit our site www.poweramplifier.net. Uh, I would like to tell you beforehand that uh, in this video I will summarize uh, uh, the various aspects which are considered and they are not limited to what I mentioned in this video, there might be some others. So the purpose of this video is to emphasize that how complicated and uh, how many uh, different things a person need to consider when designing an envelope tracking system. So uh, don't be worried if you don't follow everything because over the course of time we will um, develop the understanding on our website also on the uh, lectures here to understand the complexities and the design constraints involved in designing envelope tracking system. So I will one by one count uh, and show you different constraints so you get a feeling of uh, the complexity involved in the system design of envelope tracking uh, system. So uh, the first thing is that uh, in a system design one has to consider whether he's going for uh, a full fledged envelope tracking system or average power tracking system. So uh, full fledged tracking system is that uh, you are f fully following the input signal and it requires very high bandwidth uh, and average power tracking uh, is another type of envelope tracking which uh, does not track 100% the envelope. There are many trade-offs also f associated with them. Okay so then comes uh, the thing that what sort of envelope tracker is used whether it's an LDO based uh, uh, or which is a very linear but uh, low efficient uh, uh, envelope tracking system. It is used in some cases of for sure and it's a basic system from which uh, the more complex system evolved which is the split stage envelope tracker. So this depends upon the application. Usually split stage nowadays is widely used. And then uh, th there are requirement on efficiency because you need very high efficiency. If the efficiency is low, uh, then the envelope tracker is uh, is more or less useless because uh, the overall system efficiency is the efficiency of power amplifier multiplied by the efficiency of the envelope tracker. So usually we try to get efficiency as high as possible, ideally above 75 percent, 80 percent. But it's very very difficult to design it. But that's the main goal there then very 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 important design consideration is the bandwidth so envelope tracking is about bandwidth and efficiency in some form or the other so uh, bandwidth of the envelopes is very important and as a bandwidth become high it's very it becomes very challenging to design linear and as well as uh, efficient envelope tracker so bandwidth is a very important thing for different uh, communication standards for which envelope tracker is designed then also another important thing is the input envelope characteristics because uh, in input envelope characteristics is important because based on that we can uh, manipulate the input waveform to get some performance out of uh, um, enhanced performance out of ET system so it's very important. Then another very important parameter is the slew rate of the op amp. So the op amp I mentioned because we are assuming that we are using split stage uh, envelope tracker uh, even for linear stage uh, f even for LDO based uh, tracker we also have op amp so slew rate is also very important it's also in some form related to bandwidth but not in real sense uh, then we have what sort of topology we are using for an op amp so this can be folded cascode source coupled cascode there are many flavors of uh, this topology and th this design is hard to design this is not easy it's more into analog design so uh, it has to be very linear, has, should have very high bandwidth, also should have very good slew rate, uh, it should have very good common mode range as well as common mode rejection ratio which is uh, uh, related. So in the characteristics of op amp are also very important and, and of course very low power consumption as well for the op amp and overall system. Then if we are using this uh, uh, tracker which is uh, based on this split stage uh, another very important parameter what sort of hysteresis comparator is used uh, because the hysteresis comparator uh, uh, is used for the switching of the switching mode amplifier used there uh, what sort of load is there uh, whether the load is high for the envelope tracker or low this also has many it determines many parameters of the design then what sort of technology is available and the supply voltage because usually we try to have a reasonably high supply voltage like 5 volt idly or 
3.3 is very hard to design an envelope record there but uh, yeah so so technology 150 micrometer 180 micrometer 350 silicon germanium by cmos 65 so what technology is available also very important parameter for very obvious reason is the area and if you move forward then again very big challenge how to integrate it with the uh, rf power amplifier module whether they, they will be separate chips or one chip uh, bond wire flip chip system in package a lot of things and how to integrate it with an antenna uh, tuner uh, also another very important thing is pre-distortion because whenever we use uh, envelope tracker it will uh, uh, disturb the linearity of the uh, the, trans the power amplifier system so we need pre-distortion another very important thing frequency because uh, envelope trackers are uh, they have very strong relation with the frequency uh, of the uh, PA involved so uh, they become challenging when the frequency goes high uh, yes and also reliability whether they are reliable or not cost so uh, the, the point of this tutorial is that as we have just in a very short amount of time counted a lot of parameters so from this one can imagine that the system complexity of uh, envelope tracker is quite high and these are just 18 i counted there are many other system and circuit parameters which need to be considered and uh, yeah so that's all about uh, this uh, lecture more detail is on the website on this particular topic please go to our website www.poweramplifier.net and similar rf analog ic design and tech topics will be discussed there so uh, thank you very much and uh, that's all for the tutorial